Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Stephen. Today's episode is about buzzing clarinets, not really buzzing clarinets themselves, but about one way a, you can hear buzzing from a clarinet. Now, there's multiple ways you can hear buzzing from a clarinet. One, it could be from the reed and or the ligature. Another could be from key work that's kind of loose and not really held in any tension. could be slightly loose and basically vibrate upon some notes. And another that we're going to explore today is buzzing pads. Now, when pads get old on clarinets, the skin on them can get really loose. And we're going to take a look at that real quickly. And they can actually droop. What happens is bladder pads, even Gore-Tex pads, and other more modern pads are actually layered. You can get layers. In this case, with bladder pads, the bladder can separate from the felt. And then what happens is you basically have a snare drum sitting there. And when you play, that thing just vibrates and you can hear it buzz every so often. So when technicians install pads, they don't push with the thumbs. You don't want to push the pad into the cup with your thumb. Because as you push it in, you're pushing the middle and you're bowing the middle, making it concave. And that's actually going to separate the skin from the felt itself. Even Gore-Tex pads, you do that and it's going to flex it a bit. And more than likely, sooner or later, probably sooner, the outer layers of the Gore-Tex are going to separate a bit from the inner layers and they're going to start buzzing too. So really when you install pads, you kind of put it in, either use a prick where you put it in and put it in there, or I usually put it in and use my fingers around the sides and kind of rotate it in. And with the um, shellac I use, I rotate it in and make sure it's a solid fit. And then I'm usually set to go at that point. So as you review that, don't forget to give a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share afterwards. Now let's learn something about buzzing clarinets. So I have this old web page in mind about buzzing clarinets, and we're going to take a look at it real quickly now. Basically, have, have you ever wondered and heard a clarinet buzz and why it would buzz? Of course, there's several reasons, as I mentioned. One is older bladder pads. Now I have a video of a buzzy bladder pad and an audio of one. I'm not sure the audio is going to be, you can hear it in this audio, but we'll try it anyways. It's an older video. This is an example of a bladder pad that is really loose. The skin's loose. So when you play, it is actually acting like a um, on a snare drum. You know, if you ever hear instruments play, you sometimes hear the snare. This is vibrating the air and creating a buzz as you play. It's an old video of mine from probably 12 years ago. So is the audio. That was basically the pad skin. I was able to get it um, vibrating like you would a snare drum, basically. And that's basically the sound it made. Here I got some pictures of loose skin pads. And you can see the surface of this pad here on the right. How it's wrinkled and is raised above the felt, basically. So that's basically skin pads just floating in the air there and any vibration is going to set it off. Here's a really droopy pad, as you can see right here. See how it just kind of like falls right into the tone hole? This is one reason you can check to see how your clarinet is sealed. And when you do, you don't want to suck in air. Because when you suck in air and create a vacuum, you're going to pull in those pads into the tone hole. And this could be the result of one of those instances. We're doing it multiple times. So actually, if you ever check and if you have any leaks in your clarinet, you can actually blow a little bit into the clarinet and close everything to see if it seals properly. Of course, I mentioned pad installation. Um, if you use a soft adhesive, like um, soft hot glues and stuff, it may cause a problem where, and I mentioned here, the tech may push your pad in with a thumb and push the middle of the pad into the cup, and the felt now becomes concave, and the skin will actually separate from the felt. And because of that, you get a convex pad. And I have a picture here of one. You can see this. there's a slight bow at the slight dome in the middle here. This is the skin of the pad popping up away from the felt, which now may buzz. And here's another one of loose pad skin. Here I was pushing the skin down with a um, screwdriver. But anyways, this is one of the things you want to do when you play and you think you hear a buzz look for pads that are not flat or look for pads that are wrinkled 
this may be the location of your buzz. Um, one way to alleviate that is you can put uh, basically super glue or nail polish onto that pad itself. Not nail polish remover because that's going to eat away the, the uh, bladder pad, but nail polish. You know, give it a nice red nail polish, or whatever. Anyways, what that would do is, of course, is going to stiffen it, it's going to harden it, and not allow it to buzz. And that's one way of getting rid of buzzy pads other than replacing them. Anyways, there's a quick review of buzzing pads. I want to thank you for listening today. Any questions or comments, please post them down below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe afterwards. Got a lot of the knowledge, got a lot of life, got a lot of clarinets, especially when it doesn't have buzzing pads. So we'll see you next time.